Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Ayushi. And welcome back to HTV. And first up, we have question of the week. Hi, I'm Aubrey, and I'm here with Gigi. And today's question of the week is if you could have any superpower, what would you have and why? Um, I probably have the power to learn really quickly because then I could learn how to get all the superpowers, I guess. But that's smart. Um, I would choose teleportation because then when like class got boring or something, I could just go home or go somewhere fun. I would have invisibility so I could sneak into the uh, fridge at night without my mom seeing me. Um, I would choose teleportation because that way I wouldn't have to like ride the bus to school because waiting for it in the cold is really annoying. And also, it would give me great abilities to scare people. Um, if you could have any superpower, what would it be in what? Uh, I'd probably want to uh, be able to like stop time because then I'd be able to like teleport and stuff. I don't know what uh, like what other reasons you could do with uh, stopping time, but yeah. Um, I would have talking to animals because I really like animals, and I think it would just be really cool like talk to my pet and yeah. Daryl, that sounds yes, awesome. My dog. Amazing. <laughs> I probably would choose flying because I, I just feel like that just it, if everyone could fly, we reduce so many carbon emissions, and you wouldn't need like any other device except for yourself. Yeah. And it just I, I just think it'd be really fun. It'd be pretty good for like climate change. Yeah. I would like to have the power of being able to control every kind of matter because then like you, I could create anything or I could give myself any kind of superpowers because like like matter is basically everything that, that the universe is made of so yeah. I can tell you thought of this already. Yeah. Impressive. Either flying or like a remote with like a button that could just shut people up because like people are going. So I just... It's like you thought it's like big to just It's very useless. I know, big would that be great? Yeah. Hey Ayushi, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I probably want the ability to be able to stop time. How about you? Hmm, I don't know, maybe to be able to read minds. Next up we have Oliver Geometry Dash Ranking. Hello, it's me, Oliver, and in today's HTV video, I'll be putting all 74 of my demons in Geometry Dash on a tier list, from S plus to F. Okay, first up we have the Nightmare. Uh, the Nightmare was my first ever demon. I remember the exact day I beat it, September 15th, 2022. I just did it on my phone, I was like, yay, I posted it on, the, I posted it on the Reddit, and uh, the YouTuber King Samalot actually congratulated me. Which I was really pumped about. This is like actually before I really knew who he was. But I knew he was like a famous YouTuber. And so I was pretty excited about that. And the Nightmare is honestly not that good. It's a C tier level. Shiver. Actually, a pretty interesting memory about Shiver. I remember being at a Rubik's Cube competition, trying to beat this for my first demon. And I couldn't beat it. It was too hard for me. I was a little goo goo ga, -ga baby with barely any GD experience, so I ended up throwing the towel like 600 attempts in. Look where I'm at now, I can beat an extreme, but this level it's pretty good, A tier. Platinum Adventure. I actually beat this on the exact same day as the Nightmare, so the Nightmare was only my hardest for like a, a couple hours, but yeah, this level pretty janky. I'm not saying this one's name. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's, it's going into A tier, though. Down Under. A tragic fact about this level. It's actually what happens in Australia all day. So keep your prayers up for Australia people, because they experience this all day. It's also my hardest at one point, and it's going into S tier, because it's really cool. Invisible Club Step. This level uh, actually has my lowest attempt count on any demon, being 33. And also, I don't know why it was rated, because... It, honestly, it's not really invisible club step, it's more transparent club step, so this level is basically free for enemies beating club step, and it's also going in the D tier because I do not agree with its existence. Bomb processing. I actually remember seeing this level in the recent tab, so that was pretty cool for me. Uh, bomb processing, it's okay. 
Gear Nostalgists. This level, super janky. I think there was like a video going around back in the olden days of GD that was like every bug in uh, Gear Nostalgists. And, I mean, it's also the hardest 1.2, and it's B tier. Jump Grinder. I wouldn't call Jump Grinder bad, but like, it was really frustrating because it is, it is the perfect combination of decoration, song gets annoying after a while, and gameplay that gets annoying after a while to be like infuriating for me. But it's still good as a level, so it's not F worthy, it's D. Change of scene. This level was voted uh, on the Geometry Dash 10th anniversary thing to be the best level ever made, but because uh, it, all the people who voted were children who didn't know the existence of any uh, levels that are th uh, like older than three months old. But yeah, this is still good. Also, the longest demon I've ever beaten clocking in at like six minutes or something. Trump circles. I died to the I died, I died to sixty percent like. 20 times F tier. It's also like not funny and now We go to the wonderful land of medium demons Starting off with B. This was the last level I ever beat when I was a mobile player so uh, yep, that's something I guess and it's a Good level, not B. A. Also, I like the big B at the end, he's cool. Cardi collab. This uses an old Playboy Cardi song back when he was not that popular. That one Playboy Cardi monster in the middle will haunt my nightmares forever. A tier. Reanimation. I was actually, when I switched uh, from phone to computer, I was going to do this as a new hardest, but it was too hard for little baby me. Oh. It's good a tier layers this level is really good if you want a level that makes your eyes hurt and also makes you incredibly bored because this level is really boring and not fun and i don't like it and it's bad and it's f tier ultra violence i have a fond memory with this level i was playing it with with charles uh he was sitting next to me and I beat it, and since I thought this was my hardest at the time, even though it wasn't, I was all like, "Yay! I beat Ultra Violence! I beat a new, I beat a new hardest!" Even though it wasn't, the boss is like really hard though. But this level's still really cool. It's going in the A tier. Serious. I know this is one of the most liked medium demons, but like, it's not fun. The memory boss is really annoying, and the first 40 percent's like completely free. So, uh, D tier. I also had to beat it on 120 FPS because it's bugged on 240. Yay! I have a lot to say about this one. This was my hardest uh, for a while. And, uh, the, like, uh, this level was really hard for me at the time. I think it was my first hardest that actually felt like an accomplishment instead of, like, just something I beat. Because, like, that first wave, that first wave to tiny me was like impossible it was like super difficult could like barely beat it and now look at me i'm beating an extreme but yeah it's level super cool s tier white women um i know the name's really dumb but like this is a super good level and i really recommend it s tier future funk <laughs> guess what i didn't die once at the last click that's how good i am yeah, Future Funk, it's it's pretty fun. It's a Jonathan level, so it's obviously like a year long and has a janky duel at the end. Double Dash. So, Double Dash, uh, it's an all duel level, and it's probably one of my favorite levels in the entire game. First of all, it, the deco and song, really good. And uh, C, um, I have a really good memory of this level because I was with Charles again, and I had uh, finished practicing this level, so I uh, learned all the level, and I started playing uh, from zero, and I was like, hey Charles, do th uh, what do you think I'll get on this attempt? And I don't remember like what he said, but like the first attempt I played from zero, I beat it, and that was like the hypest moment of both of our lives. S plus. Pokemon Showdown 2. This was my first hard demon. It was a pretty big jump because I was jumping uh, from H E double hockey sticks. It's like a pretty hard hard demon. And yeah. Uh, Pokemon Showdown 2. Very difficult level. It has a lot of dumb parts. 
And I think I hated this a lot more than I should have because at the time I was bad. So the bad stuff about this level like stuck out to me a lot more, but like I would have put it in F tier if I'd like just come from beating it, but like it's D tier. Uh, lit Fuse. I died a lot at the first cube because I was bad at it. And also, my worst fails for this level were 86 and 31 because the second half is pretty easy. And I really like this level. I really like the atmosphere of it. The song's a banger. This level, awesome. S tier. My time. For a while, this was my favorite level in the game because, like, everything about it, banging. The, the decoration is on point, it's based off of hit video game uh, for, the, uh, for the 3DO Gex, and it's super fun to play too. It's going to S+. Uh, Miku 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 Miku's up next. This level is so doo-doo, it, it's like the first... Like, the first minute of the level is, like, actually stereo madness difficulty, and there are so many stupid parts in this level. Like, there's that one wave that, like, is extremely annoying and just kills you. There's, like, it just, the difficulty is really unbalanced, and, like, the song, it's, like, a good song, but it's definitely the type of song, like, it's good at first, but it gets extremely annoying after a while. So yeah, this is going directly into F-, minus. it's probably the only level that's made me not want to open the game because I didn't want to play this level. Booty D2, this is my first insane demon, and it's pretty fun, it's another Jonathan excursion, and it's got another funky duel, it's got a cool little boss fight, and I like it. And we're gonna have to extend the A tier to accommodate this level. Future Funk 2. This level, yep, that's right, it's also going into A tier, and it's the sequel to a Future Funk. It's another Jonathan level. It's the, This level is probably the number one level where like I get far in every attempt. I remember getting like 86, 84, and 74 like all uh, like in succession, and this level, it's most recent completion. I beat it on March 26th. And this level, pretty good. Picture is perfect. This is a level that you saw me be on HTV. But first of all, there's some sad news pertaining to this level. Let me just open up Geometry Dash uh, real quick to show you what I mean. It got downgraded to Insane Demon. No, no, no. But yeah, you, see, you saw me describe in the video. Uh, in the video, like, why I like this level so much. It's my favorite level in the game. S plus tier. And finally, Allegiance. Allegiance is my hardest by a big margin. It took me 16,909 attempts, which is quite a bit. And it is... It pulls no punches. It's... It'll... It'll rough you up. It'll... It's... It'll real... It'll really rock you. And there are so many choke points in this level. There's that one stupid ball click, there's that one ship, there's that one wave, there's that one wave click. This level is so hard and I got super unlucky with it. Uh, no, 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 no! Here, let me pull up this graph. So there's this little tool called Widus that you can like use to track your geometry dash progress. Let me show you how many times I died past the drop. 251. 61 of those deaths were at the ship. Actually, no, not 61, because these are also part of the ship. So I died at the ship part more than 100 times. So that means like around half of all my drop attempts died to that ship. There's also that wave that also took out the like another half of my attempts that got there. There's that ball click. This level, super hard, and I really liked it at first, but like the more I play it, the more I got unlucky. 
I also died at 98% that one time, and it still took me three more days to beat it. And this is during winter break, so I had a lot of time on my hands. But yeah, this level is going in the C tier. I believe this! 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 Remember the times we had, the times that you and me had. Remember the times we had, the times that you and me had. Reminiscing by the time when you wasn't by my side, everything was going fast, baby girl. You did. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend, Hamilton. Bye. Bye.